Lent Week 4 Thursday A reading from the sermons of Pope Saint Leo the Great The contemplation of the Lord's passion Any one who has a true devotion to the passion of the Lord must so contemplate Jesus on the cross with the eyes of his heart that Jesus flesh is his own let earth tremble at the torments of its redeemer let the rocks of faithless hearts be split and now that the mighty obstacles have been shattered let those leap forth who are weighed down by the tombs of mortality may signs of the future resurrection appear now in the holy city that is the church of god and hearts experience that which our bodies will undergo the victory of the cross is denied to none of the weak there is no man who cannot be helped by the prayer of christ for if his prayer aided the multitudes who raged against him how much more does it help those who turn to him ignorance has been taken away difficulties have been made easier and the sacred blood of christ has extinguished the flaming sword which blocked the way to life the darkness of the former night has given way to the true light the christian people are invited to share the riches of paradise on the road back to the fatherland they lost has been thrown open once more to all who have been reborn unless any one closes for himself that way which the faith of the thief was able to open up the activities of this present life must not fill us with anxiety or pride so that we do not strive with all the powers of our soul to be conformed to our redeemer in the way that he showed us he performed and suffered everything necessary for our salvation so that the power which was in the head might also be found in the body indeed what man was left deprived of his mercy except the unbeliever by that taking of our substance in the divinity whereby the word was made flesh and dwelt among us who does not share a common nature with christ if he has accepted him who assumed our humanity and has been born by that spirit by which he was begotten again who would not recognize his own infirmities in him who would be unable to see that taking food resting in sleep being troubled by grief and weeping out of love are the marks of the form of a servant because humanity needed to be cured of its ancient wounds and cleansed of the filth of sin the only begotten son of god became the son of man too lacking nothing of the reality of manhood and nothing of the fullness of divinity that belongs to us which lay lifeless in the tomb rose again on the third day and ascended above all the heights of heaven to the right hand of the glory of the father if we follow the way of his commandments and are not ashamed to confess how great a price he paid for our salvation in bodily humility we too shall come to share in his glory for what he predicted shall be fulfilled clearly every one who acknowledges me before men i also will acknowledge before my father who is in heaven